How do you do, my friends, everywhere out there? Boys and girls and men and women, school children, teachers, mothers and fathers. I am the professor, Julius Sumner Miller, and we do physics in this strange, uncommon place. We were left last time with the dilemma of the three cans. Notice the beautiful title, The Dilemma of the Three Cans. Do you see how utterly simple devices can lead to extraordinary inquiry? Now, the matter before us is not simple, and one nearly needs a Ph.D. in physics to understand what goes on here. But I'll try to make it simple, because I am convinced that however complicated the idea, it can be put in simple language for children to nearly understand. Shiny can, black can, asbestos can. Shiny can, black can, asbestos can. I asked which one cools the fastest. They were filled initially with the same amounts of water at the same temperature. I suggested that many think the black one does because black bodies are good radiators. No one really thinks that the asbestos-covered, insulated can cools the fastest, but it does. And why? I'm going to show you why. If I can find my eraser, I'm going to show you how, in an exaggerated way, the asbestos-covered can looks. There it is. That wall is smooth. That wall is smooth. But the wall here looks like this. Looks like that. Exaggerated. So the area of the surface here, the surface area, is tens of thousands of times the surface area elsewhere. And thus the radiation loss is greatest from these many surfaces. I was not able to record the rest of Professor Sumner's presentation. I will now try to explain why a higher surface area removes heat faster. For those that do not wish to hear my explanation, you can stop the video now. A higher surface area means that there is a greater number of atoms, a greater number of particles, per unit area. As a demonstration, not representative of the actual number of particles, I have shown that the can covered in asbestos contains 11 particles per side. And I have shown that the metal can with no insulation contains five particles per side. If I zoom in on the edges of the metal cans, one particle can be thought of as one individual taking heat from the container with the higher temperature and transferring this heat to the atmosphere with a lower temperature. Thus removing heat from the container into the atmosphere. Everything else being equal, it is obvious that the can with the greater number of particles per unit area will be able to remove heat into the atmosphere faster simply due to greater numbers than the can with fewer particles per unit area. 